Yeah. Cash strapped, they usually get a discount at the Union Bar. For more and more younger people, being a student is a desirable vocation, especially during a recession. But when recession bites, it takes a chunk out of every area of society. Not only has it hit the jobs market unemployment high, now it may affect students-to-be. There's a real chance of a funding cap on university places. The threat that the dole queue could end up much longer come September. Applications are up by 9%. That's around 40,000 more people wanting to go to uni this year. For this surplus who've just completed their A-levels, it would be wise to take heed of some sound advice for the summer months to come. Just taking, let's say, half an hour a month or 10 minutes every week uh, to think about where your money is going, making sure that everything's um, under control, it can save a lot of pain later. Um, because of the recession now, unfortunately, we've seen hundreds of thousands of people who are in real trouble with their money, uh, and it's an absolutely horrible situation to be in. So just taking a little bit of time to do a budget and get a little bit organised, get a little bit smart about your finances, uh, can really pay off in the long run. If only those at the top of the political spectrum had taken similar advice. Commons Education Select Committee Chair Phil Willis has been told there's only enough funding for 3,000 extra first-year places. Admission service UCAS predict around 600,000 people will apply by the end of the summer. This growth in demand could lead to a clearing system on the brink. Students who don't achieve good enough grades for their first choice university may have to battle it out in the clearing system too. Only 50% of students in the clearing system look certain to get into a university. That would put huge pressure on the system. Thousands could be left with nowhere to go. A safety net some can ill afford to lose. Willis has written to Business Secretary Lord Mandelson to ask for more funding. The government's target is to have 40% of all adults university educated by 2020. If that's to happen, funding needs to be in place now.